Target is brought to you by First National Bank. Hi, my name is Mami Jemfua. You're welcome to another episode of On Target. This show is proudly brought to you by First National Bank and Oh My Hair. It's another week and we are back with your favorite show. On Target fills you in on some of the topical issues in the world of football. Today, we begin the show on a very sad note. So we are asking, how well are our players catered for in this side of the world? Are we really a people that care about our sportsmen? Well, I am asking these very pertinent questions because the football world lost a player in the rather bizarre circumstances in Nigeria. In a game between Nasara United and Kachina United in the Nigerian Premier League, Chinime Martins died after colliding with a player on the pitch. Martins was just quite unconscious after the incident happened. The sting in the tail was how he died. Martins passed on upon arriving in the hospital because he had not been taken in on time as the ambulance at the stadium did not start. How strange is that? I mean, if it had started, he could have been saved. That is the bit that hurts most people. Hmm. Our condolences to the family of Chinemi Martins. Let's jog off now away from the sad news and talk a bit more about Manchester United. There's joy at the club now. Fans are singing ole, ole, ole again and gradually the love for the football club getting closer and closer to the doldrums is returning. United have been good this year at least at the turn of the year. In their last 10 games, United have not recorded any losses, have kept 8 clean sheets and scored 24 goals. This is much more like the United of old. Their manager Ole has a good one over some of the top managers and the teams in the league. After beating City in their last game, United did the double over their noisy neighbours for the first time in a decade. Set over the top. And it creeps into the net. He holds the ball out. It's a long-range attempt to score for United. Ole has now beaten Pep twice, Lampard twice, once against Arsenal, has beaten Spurs and is one of only two managers to take points off Liverpool this season. The resurgence has largely been credited to the arrival of Bruno Fernandes and the in-game management of their manager. Gradually, the veil of mediocrity is falling off. The future looks very exciting for the club, but it will all depend on how well they end this season. Entering the top four will mean so much to them. Now to the dreaded coronavirus topic and how it is wrecking havoc in every part of the world. Sports, like many other top industries, has been one of the worst hits. On Monday, Italian Prime Minister Giuseppe Conte labeled his country a red zone of the virus and has therefore temporarily halted the Serie A until the 3rd of April. Italian clubs or national teams participating in international competitions can do so, but under very strict quarantine measures. Conte extended a series of strict quarantine measures, including a ban on public gatherings. Italy has been the European country worst hit by the coronavirus so far with over 9,000 confirmed cases and more than 450 deaths. The Italian Football Federation says the incident has no precedence in history. This will be a huge loss to sports. More and more sporting tournaments are getting cancelled due to the virus. The Asian qualifiers to the World Cup in Qatar scheduled for this month in June have all been postponed. The Indian Wells Tennis Tournament has been cancelled and the Athletics Indoor Meet, which was to begin on March 13th has been postponed until next year. Something really has to be done to save the world, else everyone suffers. Business, tourism, sports and people. Ghana's biggest game is heading to London in Easter. As part of the Independence Day celebrations this year, 
For the first time in history, a Hasbro's Kotoko game is set to be played in London. The game was set for the 7th of March, but it has now been shifted to Easter weekend, particularly on the 11th of April. The game has been preceded with the launch that involved HUD CEO Frederick Moore and Kotoko CEO George Amwako. Banner Stadium in London will have Joseph Esso, Kofi Koji and Imano Jemfi on show. You never quite see that often. Thank you for watching. This has been another episode of On Target. Special thanks to First National Bank and Oh My Hair. See you same time next week. Bye. On Target was brought to you by First National Bank.